so I just finished watching episode one of The Book of Boba Fett on Disney+. Plus. This is their new series set in, of course, the Star Wars universe, and it takes place right after where Mando season two's after credit scene ended, where you see Boba Fett and Fennec Shands take over the throne of Jabba the Hutt and Mos Eisley. So he is the new crime lord, basically, of the galaxy and this is his story about how he's going to rule unlike Jabba did instead of with fear and power he's going to do it with respect. And this first episode is just a little under 40 minutes long so it is a bit of a shorter one but I got my baby Yoda shirt on here and I'm ready to go so let me get into my review for episode one of the book of Boba Fett. So this series is going to be seven episodes long and of course it's going to be released weekly with it ending in February and kind of as I put in the title here minor spoilers into terms of where the plot line takes place in this. So it's about 60% of what happened to Boba Fett after he fell in the Sarlacc pit at the end of, or sorry, like during um, episode six, and then about 40% of him taking over Mos Eisley's crime era with Fennec Shands. And they kind of do it in flashbacks where when he's in his pod, that's when he gets these dreams and these flashbacks of him in the Sarlacc pits. And I found I really liked these scenes because it showed a lot of the culture of Mos Eisley. Really, we get to see a little bit more of the culture of the Jawas. We get to see that of the Tusken Raiders too and how cruel yet fair <laughs> the Tusken Raiders are. And we do get to see how much Boba Fett appreciates just every being in the galaxy. Even though he's a bounty hunter, he has a respect for the way of survival, in a sense. Be too, too mad at the way that these cultures, again, survive on the hostile planets that they do. And he learns from that, he takes that. And I love seeing that element of Boba Fett. And they kind of weave his experience after falling into the Sarlacc pit into how he's going to rule as the new hut. So I thought that was just very interesting how they're able to kind of tie that past experience into his present day with Fennec Shands. He's kind of not taking the advice of Fennec and the people who ruled with Jabba and of course there's people there to challenge him but he's sticking true to what he believes is right and the rule that is going to be the most prosperous for him. We are, of course, going to see a bit of a change in this because we get some action sequences and just a lot of foreshadowing as to what could come from this series after this first episode. We see a lot of that in terms of, well, one, a fantastic fight scene with Fennec Shand and Boba Fett against some unknown assassins who are there to take him out. I believe that these are, we get word of a mayor who wants tributes from Boba Fett instead of giving it to him and someone who just doesn't respect his power or his status right now. So I think these guys definitely tie to that mayor, but we're gonna have to wait and see. But I loved that fight scene so, so much. It was easily one of the best that I've seen just any Disney Plus show do, and that's including the Marvel shows. I really, really liked it. It makes great use of, of course, Boba Fett's armor, abilities, same thing with Fennec, same thing with Gamorrean guards, same thing with just the tech that we see in Star Wars. Like their shows, including The Mandalorian, have been so, so good at just being epic and thriving in all the inventions that they can use for their characters and not have them feel like cheap gimmicks to get their characters out of situations it's just we see the experience that these characters have gone through and they learn from it and they put these upgrades and weapons and little things on their suits and just that they carry with them to get them through situations and it's just so much fun and fantastic to watch it's yeah that's one of the reasons why it's just one of my favorite fight scenes that any of these Disney Plus shows have ever done even just saying too with Star Wars it was a great scene but of course too we get to see a lot of the crime boss culture as well where he's going from like little CD bar town to town and collecting again tributes from all these people um you see the ones who don't respect them the one who the ones who do, the ones who are questioning the way that he's doing things. He's able to gain loyalty by the way he's doing things, but again, it leaves him so vulnerable to attack. And again, it's just building to what we can expect from the rest of the series. There's going to be more meetings, more threats, more allies, and it's going to be really fun to watch him build his empire. Even though this episode was a bit slow to its feet and just kind of, again, setting up the way that Boba Fett thinks, it was such a strong start. And I can't wait to see the way that they continue building up his character from this very strong character-driven first episode. 
And once again, the performances all around are absolutely fantastic. I love Fennec Shan's character, and we do get to see her shine a little bit here. She's definitely, in a sense, the demo of Boba Fett's shoulder, but she's so smart and tactical with the way she does things. And she's going to be a great addition to this show, and I can't wait to see more of it. And I'm really excited to kind of see their histories kind of play back into this show where I'm really hoping for a Cad Bane appearance <laughs> later on because both of them have history with them and it'd be really cool to see these bounty hunters maybe try to do what Boba Fett did with Hut's Throne and take it away from Boba. There's so much that they could do but I love this first episode. I love kind of the bounce back to see how exactly of course Boba Fett survived the Sarlacc pits and just to getting into the mind of him and how he thinks was super fantastic and I, it was so much fun to watch and it's just very interesting too. So with all this taken together again bit of a slow start but so strong. So that is why I'm going to give Book of Boba Fett an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> and I'm so excited for the rest of the six episodes to come week to week here. So if you've seen this first episode, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can check out all my other TV reviews and everything I do through my channel, through my playlist down below. And I also link some up top here. Subscribe, turn a little ring around if you want to know when I upload new videos. If you want to check out everything I do Twitch live stream wise, there is a link to that in the bio of this video and on my channel. In both of those places, there's also a link to the Media Mountain, which is my Discord, where we talk about movies, video games, Star Wars, comic books, um, pretty much everything that's awesome in this world so you can definitely take a look at that join that amazing community help make it even more amazing than it is already and yeah just awesome guys go check out book of boba fett on disney plus